Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us today. We're playing Apex Legends once again, and we're doing more character breakdowns. We're actually going to be going through all of the costumes, the quips, the banners, and the kills, or the finishers that are available for the last two characters, the two locked characters as part of Apex Legends. Now, we did the first six, Bloodhound, Gibraltar, Lifeline, Pathfinder, Wraith, and Bangalore, all in one batch, and I hope you've actually enjoyed watching those because there's more to come, there's more videos to see, and we're gonna have Caustic and Mirage. Now, what I actually have found out, I've uh, been poking around and asking Apex Legends and uh, Respawn Entertainment and find out what their plans are for the next year or so. They've got more Legends planned, they've got, of course got more skins planned, uh, they have a battle pass, so they're essentially gonna do this Reaper. the same way uh, Paladin's battle passes are done, or um, Might's battle passes are done, I suppose. Uh, they essentially, they, they're going to actually have you uh, play through leagues to keep yourself in, and then once you get all the unlocks, then you're actually at the top of your battle pass level. It, it's a way to get people to pay a subscription fee for a game like this per year, and I'm like, alright, fine. I'm massively fussed by it, but we'll see how well it goes. First battle pass should have Caustic and Mirage unlocked as part of it. If they don't do that, then I'm calling it dead dead water, the dead ground. The, there's nothing you can really do to kind of redeem it at that point. Because as I don't know, I'm already having a problem with the Founders Pack. If you want to see that, it's actually in a video just before this in the playlist, so feel free to take a look at it. Right, no complaining. On to the characters. This is Caustic, who appears to actually be depicted as a villain in the trailer. He's like a proper, proper, bah, fucking villain. <laughs> you know, he's, he's burning scientists alive and stuff, so let's see what kind of villain he actually plays. Ooh, Sixth Sense costume. All right, so he's blindfolded and got his gas mask, but I like the detailing in the costume because the original one looks like a uh, weird lab equipment kind of Batman villain-esque kind of thing. Makes sense. Actually, this looks like a blinded soldier wearing a gas mask. I kind of like the, the canisters and stuff. I actually like this costume. Not too sure about the color scheme, but again, caustic yellow. That's what he's going to be. Divine right. The blind, <laughs> the blind blonde version of this. So there's a hero colors for him, just with gold canisters. I like this one more. Um, I like the color scheme more, much more. Don't really care for the blonde hair. Um, could have kept the brown hair. Uh, they just decided to go angelic for the divine ones. And you know what? I'm not a big fan of angelic beings being blonde haired. You know, like the the fair haired, fair skinned race. And I'm like, fuck you. That's not divine in any way, shape, or form. That's absolute bullshit. And that's playing into the single ideas of images of divinity. Fuck you. But otherwise, I actually like the character design. Interesting. Philosopher's Stone? Holy shit! Okay. That's a, a roadhog ass costume. But I'm just looking, is the face. I'm seeing, is that a face mask? Or is that his face? <laughs> I don't know. Because I can see skin underneath. It looks okay. And then it's all craggly and then got the lines running through it as a mask. But I think this is actually going full um, Road Warrior. And I like the cleats on the feet. The cleats look pretty cool. And the fur pelt, that's kind of cool. Uh, yep, yeah. that's that's our that's our super villain costume, and I'm actually on board with that. And it's meant to be was medieval, or like an alchemist kind of costume with the ampules and everything. Blackheart. Yeah, so that's his uh, DC Comics villain, or I, you know, actually, to be honest, that's more of a. I'm not going to say image because I don't think it would be image. Malibu. Let's say Mal a company that doesn't exist anymore. A Malibu-esque comic book villain. They like said you go. Or do you know what? Do you know exactly who it is? Fucking Moriarty from League of Extraordinary Gentlemen in the movie version specifically. <laughs> that's, that's exactly who it is. Big fat Moriarty. But um, I like the design. Same as uh, Philosopher's Stone. Personally, I actually think the, the hair and hide looks better on the Philosopher's Stone one. But the mask and the rest of it kind of actually has a nice deep thing to it with the other color. I'm on board with that. And then, of course, the whole section of rares are always going to be the underlayer, original costume of an underlayer of color going through it. And I thought his was going to be the opposite way around. I thought they were going to color that and then run the pattern on this. But, yeah. On his default costume, like, I don't... Junker it's so left. rare to see the pattern go down across the Junker legs. That looks awful. The fiber optics one is god awful. Uh, Demon Hunter. Much more active pattern. I like that. Looks better. Um, the red looks good on him. I'm looking forward to seeing what the um, rougey kind of like plain version of this is, but I'm sure it's going to be like this is going to be off color and brown, and then that'll be red, so it'll look awful. But I like the uh, black underlayer with the coloring on it. Legal operation in green. 
Perfect. This character is designed to be in this costume. Yeah. I mean, it's not even doing the same pattern as the other ones do. It's a lot more toxic imagery going on the actual skin. Yeah, I like this. This, this is our poison dude. That's a, that's his poison costume. That's going to be the standard I, I recommend for him. Heat sink, as always, looks awful. <laughs> I think there's very few characters can pull off this bronze one with the actual heat sink pattern. The ones that do, it's condensed and tight. You know, this is actually just speckles all over him. It looks awful. Neural net. Um, the pattern looks good on that one. Just because it's like a lot of open space for it. I actually travel around and I like it. Um, decent pattern. A lot better than fiber optics anyway. Let's, let's just say that. It's much better than the fiber optics one. So let's go with a thumbs up. 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Right, we're on to our uncommons now, which are just the flat color wraparounds. And I was right. It's the flat color and then across the front panels. Okay. Interesting. I like that pattern for the vicious cycle one. That looks good on him. I think his uncommon ones are going to look good just because they actually have a lot of space to be on. Gloves, back, front. Uh, essentially his like body tabard thing that's going on around him. That's got it all. And then like, nothing on the boots. I kind of like boots and knee pads should look a bit weird whenever you throw like these patterns on them sometimes. So this is going to look good. Geometric pattern looks good. This, it's a nice looking pattern. Prehistoric looks brilliant because it actually it looks like more toxic acid kind of thing going on. I'm on board with that. Works for me. Sizzle reel. Mm, I well. Not a huge fan. Snake skin. Yep, as always, Salt Snake Villain. <laughs> Everybody looks like Salt Snake Villains whenever you start putting snake skin and uh, camos on them. Volcanic. Actually looks good on this guy. I don't know, I haven't liked this pattern on other people. Pouches look a little bit weird. But, yeah. Uh, definitely another Salt Snake Metal Gear Solid 3 skin. Gloves look good with it. Body looks good with it. I'm on board with that one. Volcanic actually is one of the decent ones there. Unholy Alliance. I don't, I've seen this pattern before, but I haven't seen that color, but I like it. I just like the pattern. I think I've literally, I think the wallpapers in my house whenever I was a kid had like a blue version of this pattern on it. Yeah, I think it's just my childhood nostalgia is making me enjoy this more than anything else, but the fact it's on the armbands, these little bits here, this pattern looks nice whenever it's condensed down. A nice little break in the line of it. Um, yep, yeah, on board with it. Green screen! Again, more toxic imagery. Um, I'm kind of glad the pattern because it is squared out like that. has a nice big rectangular part there. It actually is partitioned out well. And even goes well with the seam on the actual uh, material. Yeah. I, I, I applaud. Hypnotic. Cool. This guy has a lot of unique patterns on them. Like a lot of these are materials types that we haven't seen on any of the other characters. So I'm assuming whenever you look at these, some of these uncommons are probably going to show up on other characters eventually whenever they start unlocking them. They've, probably, they've made all of these. They've actually, like all these skins are just like textures being thrown over the top of a body, <laughs> over top of a specific color pattern. They know, know exactly what they're doing with each of these. But any of these ones they haven't put on already, it's just because they're just going to unlock them later on or just put them up as DLC, <laughs> pretending that they've worked on it whenever we're going like, oh yeah, we thought you liked that particular color on this character, so how about you check out this color on this character? It's not uncommon, so it's easy to unlock. And mm, mm, really? You're saying that you put a lot of work in to prepare for that? You didn't just copy paste the texture into place? No? No, you didn't do that at all? Oh. It doesn't like lay it across <laughs> properly? I mean, it doesn't even matter about the color and the light because you actually, the light and everything is actually affecting it from the engine. You're literally just applying that over the material. No, that doesn't happen at all? All right, right, like, never mind. Sure, sure, we're getting a lot of hard work. But, um... <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's weird because I'm actually I'm liking the game, but I'm starting to get a little bit edgy about my the things that are annoying me. Like the little things are fraying at the edges of my enjoyment of the game. Um, hypnotic. Good. Let's get back to the skin. Looking good. Uh, entertained by it. Uh, I like the, I like the star the kind of starburst scene and patterns. Uh, hypnotic <laughs> patterns look cool. I like I always like those kind of like spirals and stuff. I do not like this one though. <laughs> Big bright. Vivid, um, definitely a 1970s dinner table that's been made into a piece of clothing. I am not on board with that one. Good Scorpion. Yep, Metal Gear Solid villain. Absolution. Looks good on him. 
Um, it looks it, like, I mean, it's garish and awful because it just stands out against that black bodysuit and everything else around him. But the pattern itself sits well on that material. Gloves, though. Not a huge fan of the gloves. And did his mother make the wee armbands? You know, like, is that, did she work on those bits? You know, like, what would I have left in the material? Oh, yeah, do you want to make a wee, wee armband for my son? Dark web. And now this actually looks like. Have you anybody else played DC Universe? This looks like a DC Universe homebrew character. That somebody's just like, I want to be the gothy one with the spider webs on it, and they've actually just chosen the texture skin over top of it. It looks out of place, but I mean, it's a cool pattern. And again, like they having this big panel, crotch panel, and this big butt panel gives them plenty of space to actually show off the pattern. It looks good on it with the positioning of it. The tiling works well on this one. Yeah, that's right. Wishbone. It's like it just it's a weird pattern, but it kind of looks good. And I imagine it looks really good and from a distance. I don't know if it actually looks that good close up because previous times I've seen this, it actually has been in small amounts, like on arms and then hidden in behind stuff. This big break and box here and this little bit here look kind of shit. I'm not a big fan of it. Like that, it actually for once the actual big panel space that this guy has is actually undoing the, my enjoyment of it. Like it looks good in the back. Looks pretty good in the front, but this bit looks fucking garbage. So, um, you tiled your part pattern badly. I would have actually probably, like, the problem is the patterns would need the length of here to here. I mean, there to there. Why is that not? And why did they not rotate it 90 degrees? Because the pattern going like a sound wave across body, it'll look better. Rather than actually going straight down like that. Because they're doing it straight down here, like in the arms. That works pretty fine. But why is it going this way? It never should be rotated around. Like might look a little bit might have looked a little bit better and it would have broken up better you can like run away bloodline super villain costume again um oh, <laughs> 90s edgy villain yeah. covered in blood yeah. it actually looks pretty good on this guy uh the big panel works well because it's blood spatter down to it give him a doctor scalpel and he'd be threatening as hell is it colors midnight cardinal red gee i do like I'd, i'm actually liking the choices on it the accents look well on that you know, his base colors look good. They're all going to look reasonably good just because of what they've chosen to light, highlight with it. Orchid. Mango. Mango never looks good. Beer water. Vino actually looks pretty good. I actually like the darkness of it. Uh, evergreen as well. Limelight. Yellow jacket. Bird. Hydro. Age. All right. Eh, all those are not too bad. Yeah. The original costume is this but all of these are a black and gray with an accent so literally all of his costumes are improvement any costume is an improvement over his default in my opinion his default looks the worst which is probably the best way to have it <laughs> all right let's take a look at his animations in his frame perfectly suited for the character like the green cast on him it weaves around in front and behind and it's completely character appropriate makes sense Hard Knocks Life, Noxious Gases, I like that we cut in on the back end of it here. They just have... Uh, oh god. Cruel and Unusual is exactly right. <laughs> I don't know what it is, he's breeding inside those. And I don't really want to know. Uh, Corrosive Agent, Melting Faces, Melting Pigs. Oh, Melting Faces, all oh, faces. In fact, it's Corrosive on his face. Because it actually is meant to be his skull with his mask, imagining. So uh, that's kind of awful. Doing it to yourself. You do it to yourself, it's true. Um, Method in the Madness. He's got bombs. I'm assuming these are actually one of his drops. He actually drops these kind of noxious bombs. So essentially he has, he has the smoke grenades from uh, Bangalore, but he actually does, it's poison gas. Skullcracker. We've got a static ones now, uh, Dark and Death, Threatening, Bravillon esque Fuming with fumes in the corners, I actually like the balance of that one. Pipes and gas gauges, Vines and Skulls, and Breath Mask, Connecting Breath, mmm! Oh, like this is a wonderful idea, breathing in one noxious to another noxious. In fact, look, look, he's pointing up at this one going like, look, 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 this guy's an idiot. But also is this guy over down here. This guy, this guy specifically, a fucking idiot. Look, I'm looking up at him. He's an idiot. And the last couple ones, watch your eye, chemistry, background, biohazard, noxious. All of the, like all of those are actually pretty good. They're all pretty decent ones. Uh, very character appropriate. Nothing that's like, kind of 
told me anything other than this is a bad guy who poisoned you. That's literally it. All I've seen. Alright, let's go through our poses. Is standard unstable genius one? Oh, actually, I actually have unlocked one. Oh, so I've actually unlocked that one. The default is surgical, which is creepy as hell. But the unstable genius is like, ah! I have an idea. With the old razzle dazzle. But the, what's here? It's in the high quality ones. Uh oh. Oh, oh god! And I've got a feeling that's going to also be his finisher, where he beats you to death with one of the noxious gas tanks. Peace killer? Jesus Christ. Uh, peacekeeper is a shotgun. <laughs> yes. Yes, you no, shotgun hobo. <laughs> hobo with a shotgun, friends. That's exactly what they're going with. Morning brew. Please don't drink it. Yes, it was coffee. <laughs> it was coffee all along. That's what he's actually... His noxiousness is actually his coffee. <laughs> Killed the raven, nevermore. So, uh, essentially bloodhound hunting. Hit him with the old razzle. That's right. I like the, I like the threat of this one. That's a creepy goddamn face. And oh, full Kirby hand. We had a couple of early Kirby hands, like short hand, shorter ones. That's full Kirby hand. That's that's that is the hand of Galactus right there. <laughs> you said not. Uh oh, you got bad medicine. Bad medicine is what I need. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> to be or not to be. That was his face. It's not to be. Bad scientist. Um, obviously, it was like she had the idea, and then he was successful, and now he's cackling with laughter. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> this one's just very morbid. That's obviously peeled off somebody that's actually been exposed to his gas. But um, yeah, uh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like this guy. There's absolutely nothing to like about him. But it's because he's a bad guy. He's a goddamn villain. So I'm expecting him to be a villain. So let's hear what he's got to say. Uh oh. Listen, I don't relish the title. I relish the kill. Okay. It all ends the same way. With me observing. Oh, oh. <laughs> he likes to watch, doesn't he? Join my experiment below. The whole arena is his lab ground. <laughs> Life <laughs> is meant to die. Accept your fates. Marvelous. So many willing test subjects. <laughs> God, this is going to be fun. Uh, so yeah, literally, I, I, he's well spoken. So the hobo with the shotgun kind of like manicness isn't there. This guy is actually pretty goddamn calm, methodical, and productive. Um, he wants everybody to die by his hand. A deterministic end will find you below. Close combat gets messy. That's why I prefer to throw poison. More poison. I have no regrets. It's not in my DNA. Yay. Don't rush okay. to your ends. I linger on those final moments. Oh God! All right, well we're in here. I will not oh, apologize for simply expediting the inevitable. <laughs> Intelligence is a dying breed, but not today. <laughs> well, that's a good standard one for himself. He knows he's intelligent. Know your place. I know mine. My boot on your neck. My methods are only controversial to those who lack imagination. No, no, to anybody who has children, or parents, or family. You know, like, everyone. Patience. Just patience. Oh, so. Science is precise, as am I. Test me. I encourage this. The kill is more important than the prize. Science, I mean. <laughs> Watch for my traps. I'll be watching you. Ooh, so he's a trapper as well? I like this. I like this concept. Poisonous trapper. You and I are not equals. Remember this. If our paths cross, you'll wish the end came sooner. It's a miraculous thing. I observe the field from a plateau you cannot even comprehend. He's so high right now. Accept the process. It is, after all, well tested. Another trial, 
Another test subject. Being fundamentally better sours the taste of victory. Oh, Jesus. You made an attempt on my life. Brave, perhaps, but ill-conceived. Death is a paradoxical quest. It ends, but it never truly begins. Okay. Ain't <laughs> giving people brain teasers as they die. Sympathy. You won't find. Don't look for sympathy. You won't find it. Fuck. Humanity. It's just a word. I don't consider death cruel, but life. <laughs> oh, okay. Bit of a sickly cough there at the end. Was that actually a bad take, or was that appropriate? I thank you. It's simple, really. <laughs> I'm just better than you. In the end, everything dies. Just a taste is all you need. Yeah. Know your place <laughs> at the bottom of the food chain. Right, it does sound sickly. Life ends with death. I am simply expediting the process. My intelligence should not be underestimated. <laughs> one more. In the end, one's life is measured by those we've changed. Science demands a repeatable outcome to any given experiment. Remarkable. Simply remarkable. Some compounds are inert, having little to no effect on the outcome. Like you. <laughs> Take notes. I am. I don't concern myself with the ambitions of insects. The biggest trap is your own mind. The distance between life and death is measured by suffering. The rabbit's cries bring the wolves. The results have come in. You lose. Ooh. In time, the strong will filter out the weak. To say your death is a waste is the understatement of the century. There is a process to everything and also a conclusion. This is yours. This is my favorite part. This was a failure for one of us. This was an inevitable outcome. Victory is delicious. <laughs> Without pain, the body suffers in silence. Omit oh. Take comfort in... Without pain, the body suffers in silence. Omitting the entertainment. Take comfort in the fact that you are now part of something grander. You thought we were equals. Foolish. You're welcome. Perhaps if I wasn't one of the variables, your outcome would have been different. I must confess, your skills were inadequate. So yeah, um, his, all his character lines, none of them are really dry, like jump out interesting or dark or revealing. The only thing that was actually interesting about the entire list is that some of them actually have takes where he coughs his lungs up as he's reading them. Which, I mean, obviously makes sense with the character actually having, like, uh, exposed to himself to poison constantly. But um, nothing really stood out with me there otherwise. It's a miraculous thing. Yep, well, that's the line I have unlocked, so I'm going to be using that one. So first finisher, what have we got? Oh, God. Okay. He literally just slaps your ass to the ground and then throws a gas grenade into your face. <laughs> right? Well, he went either full Joker, like, acid flower, or, like, <laughs> beer toxin from Scarecrow. I'm not, I'm not, I don't think I'm actually massively fussed so far with the first two, so let's strike three, what have we got here? Oh, car and away, Jesus. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. One, two, three, and down. It's the car, it's actually the crawling away first, which creeps me out a bit more. Yeah, a POV shot first, smack down to the ground, and then gas key a canister to the face. Which I'm assuming it's actually just literally looked down at you. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't blow up or it doesn't do anything either. It just sits there. So, um, I'm not like that. Yeah, caustic. Fair enough. You've got an interesting character design, but to be honest, there's very little else there that actually has got my attention. Like, the character isn't 
massively impressive. Like there's there's a lot more characterization in Bangalore, Wraith, Pathfinder, Lifeline, Gibraltar, and Bloodhound. They all like there's a reason why I think these six were chosen as the baseline characters. Austin is just a really intelligent arsehole that just nobody would like. So therefore, like we'll make him a villain. <laughs> He's, he's, he's like, oh, he pushes his uh, confidence and uh, intelligence to the fore and it actually makes him sound like an absolute dick heel. So I don't, I, I can see why he, it's the villain character, but no, uh, I, w I wouldn't actually, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even pick him just for that. But the last thing we have to go through is just what skills he has. So his passive Nox vision, you gain threat vision on enemies moving through your gas. So, yeah, so you can actually track anybody who's in your gas canisters. Uh, Nox gas trap. Uh, place up to six canisters that release deadly nox gas when shot or triggered by enemies. Cool. So proximity, uh, proximity and um, uh, triggered things. So you can actually shoot them yourself to knock, set them off. To actually create a gas cloud. So you essentially can do like a gas wall. Say if you're actually in a closed circle. The, one of the rounds I had to play recently, uh, we were in the last circle and we literally were sitting and waiting for people to show up. And whenever people showed up, we were kind of fucked because they caught us by behind while we were in the middle of recharging our shields and health and whatever else. Something like that would have actually given us a preliminary alarm or if they were too close enough to it and we saw them first, we could pop the gas canisters and let the gas kind of fill up an area so that blocks off that point of entry for a period of time. That's a very tactical, very useful skill. And then Nox Gas Grenade is blanket the large area and knocks just gas. So literally, it, but the problem is that it's going to kill everybody but you, I think. That's the only thing. Like, it and we're probably will even affect you. I'm not too sure if they're going to make him immune to noxious gas. Because if you make him immune to his noxious gas, what, would that mean he's also immune to the noxious gas of another person playing caustic? I don't know, like but doing, right? <laughs> if, that's, if that's the way it works. Um, interesting power set of three skills. I actually liked, I do like the tactical one. His passive looks, is going to only be functional for whenever his noxious is going off. And his grenade is just an, another powerful grenade that covers a large area. Again, a lot of end game usefulness there. But uh, it's getting to that last group of four or five in a small space that actually makes... Well, guys, that's actually been caustic. We've actually gone through for a bit an Apex Legends lowdown, as I've actually been calling them on the channel. I uh, hope you've actually enjoyed yourselves. If you actually enjoyed watching me play, go through these characters, stick around. I'll continue to do so as Apex continues to release characters. Uh, we've got one last one to do. We're going to be doing Mirage next, who actually did appear in the uh, official trailer and has appears to have a lot of jokiness to him. It'd be one of those things where I'm looking forward to seeing his just as a finisher because it'll be entertaining as hell to actually go a funny jokey character it'll be a nice upbeat end to the list of eight that we've gone through so keep an eye out for the battle pass whenever it does get released because that's what their next intention is that's they're going to support it for a year with that and yeah if you're happy to be watching this on youtube there will be boxes appearing up in the corners anywhere near now it'll actually show you uh, most recent videos it'll show you a playlist it'll show you the most relevant video to you that you can check out and the wonderful little subscribe button remember to like comment subscribe and all the other things and if you actually like this channel and you enjoy watching the stuff made by me then feel free to jump on to patreon ko-fi whatever it is there's all the links in the description below you know check out as well thank you very much for watching and i will see all you dudes in the next video Bye. Literally.